Hello everybody, how you doing? Welcome to my YouTube channel Salsa and Bachata Moves where I break down Salsa and Bachata Moves. My name is Alexandros, I'm from the island of Cyprus, the capital of the Nicosia. If you're ever in our island, come and look me up. Maybe we can have a nice dance after this coronavirus. Now, just like uh, reminding one more time, or if you're new to my channel, I started working now in a different way of doing everything in one video, meaning I'm not going to put only counting video or only lesson or only music. I'm going to do all three. First, I'm going to show you the footwork. This is improver footwork. So that's a little bit beyond the beginners. You can push yourself and learn this. And it could be interesting, of course, at any level to learn any type of footwork. And uh, I'm going to first count to it. So you see if you see something you like or if you see uh, the whole thing and you like it. But I suggest not picking up the whole thing, taking one small piece that you like and put it in your repertoire and make it bigger with your own little moves that you like. And after that, I'll break it down very slow and then go with music so we can see how it looks like that. Let's start with the cat. All right, I think right here I'm not going to have anything getting cut off. And we have a basic first. Now this is an extended Suzy Q version. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. Now there's two more steps that we're gonna do. They're a little bit more than one eight. Here we start the second one. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, and five, six, seven, tap. One, two, three, and the third and final small step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven. Try to get a little bit more jumpy. Go forward and back, and of course you don't do it as many times as I did it now. It's just for you guys to look at them. So these three steps, I put them together, not as a choreography, but as individual steps that I think they are really nice and interesting. Let's start with the first one. Everybody knows the Suzy Q, a small side note. For guys and for ladies, it's not very nice to move left and right like we're doing a merengue or the salsa basic. You want to try to laterally move more like this. Even if you're with bad knees, that will give you a little bit of a difference. Also, move a little bit diagonally. That makes it feel a little bit different. And we have here, one, two, three, step on four. That's a little bit tricky because now you have to five, six. So first we lift up the knee until the knee level, and then we extend with the point, come back, and extend with the point, come back, Step down on seven, tap on eight. That tap we needed. You don't want to have just a pause. Let's go again. Basic, one, two, three. Let's go, extended side, Suzy Q. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four, Five, six, a double kick, seven, eight. And when you tap, you're ready to go basic. Do as many basics as you like until you remember the second one. That's how I do it in cheat in the videos. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. All right, now we do a half a basic. One, two, three, lift up your knee, and also prepare your body to the right on five. So the turn happens on one, two, three, five. The turn happens on six and seven. 360. Straight away lift the left up. One, two, three. Again, two beats you're going to turn. And then five, six, seven. You're going to fight your instinct. Instead of right foot, you're going to go left. One, two, which is actually five, six. Lift up and stretch out like a sword. And go into the basic. We're done with the second one. Let's do the second one one more time because it's a little bit bigger. One, two, three. Hook six, seven, and one, two, three, and five, six, and seven, and one, two, three. Now the last one, it's quite fun. You tap on eight, and you want to go forward, forward, step, and tap out. So that's actually four. You can do it with three steps, four steps. I prefer to have different foot, so I have a different direction every time I go. So when I go forward, pop. And you say up, down, down, up. And I'm trying to hit the three and the seven. 
Now the hands from here, they close and they open when we open the foot. We go one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and basic two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Let's go to musica. 